So the game is Foursquare. It's a traditional game that's been played for years, and even back in the 50s, they changed it from a tennis ball to a larger size ball so that kids could play. And this is just showing that it doesn't matter the age level that you have or the skill level, there's something for everybody. So you can vary the equipment, you can vary the size of the court uh, by using something as simple as little um, poly grips, if you will, uh, that everybody can be in included. So, that, so then people, the kids can have a choice in terms of which court they play on, in terms of whether it be more competitive, more cooperative, uh, they work together. I think it's really important we try to demonstrate how we bring the kids into the rules. What can they live with? What is the one piece that we're missing that we could calling for it? And calling for it, when you think about communication, that's a communication was one of our outcomes in our phys ed curriculum, but it's also a really important piece of the volleyball game, right? So even, so those ones that are really close to the lines like that, you're going to have to call for the ball. So it's just nice to be able to take a game like this, adapt it to whatever you're doing, whatever sports skill you're doing, whether it be with a paddle or a big ball, a small ball, a volleyball, whatever it is, and and then modify that and then also again have those conversations to see how the rules need to be for that particular court and that court might look different than the court right beside you but the people playing can live with those rules and if not then they go to another court or they figure out a way to resolve those right and so then it's easier because then let's say you've got in a phys ed class you've got four different courts set up well then as the teacher you are not policing them because they are self officiating which is really important and that's actually one of our outcomes from kindergarten to grade 12 in our phys ed curriculum it talks about etiquette and fair play well when we know what fair play is being fair isn't always equal for everybody right so if we talk about equality it doesn't mean that it has to be right we just want it to be fair and we want it to be safe it really is a simple game you don't need a lot for it whether it be sidewalk chalk or if you go and it's actually already down there or or like these poly spots, but I think so it's simple, and then whatever ball you have. But I think that from there, um, again, the rule taking, uh, the turn taking, and the making of rules, the conflict resolution, the having to get along with each other. If you play it in a cooperative way, it's great for communication skills. So in the volleyball one we talked about, um, I shared the example uh, with classes I've taught before at the high school level, where the communication is the biggest part. That's the actual outcome for the day. So they're uh, passing the volleyball back and forth, but communication, they have to call for the ball every time. And if they don't do that, then that's actually, that's the outcome that we're working after.